Hey guys, Risqué here and welcome back to Batman. Um, so last we left off, we're fighting in Arkham Asylum trying to get Lady Arkham and just beat her up. I just want to beat her up. Anyway, let's jump back in, see what's happening. Oh Jesus, it's chaos. Oh God. Vicky. Okay. So, has already fractured the orderly's cheek and nose. Okay. We'll just do some of this. longer will crush the orderly's trachea. Uh, yeah, let's throw him over there. That works. Okay. Um, about to gut the defenseless orderly. Yeah, let's throw him in there. I really hope this all works out. Use the taser on them. All right, let's try it. Hopefully, this works out. Oh yeah. Um. I want to throw a whole table at her. <laughs> like I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I want to be that extra. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, she gets the most violence. Because she fucked up the biggest. Damn! That works. Oh. Love it. Ooh. There we go. Good job. Damn it. Your time, Saz. That's the plan. Really? Nice try. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so you're double fisting it. That doesn't mean you're gonna win. Dipshit. Try harder next time. Truly inspiring. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. Batman! Lady Arkham has a hostage. We've got the inmates. Lock it down! I'm just glad everybody's fucking staying off my back. <laughs> like... We all have common goal here, and I like that. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like, I want to fight her so bad. Vic! 
Mickey! <laughs> You're not well, Vicky. You need professional help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. I mean, you're dressed as a fucking, like, frog lady. Shut up. Let him go! The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Batman. I won't lie. You're doing so much for one old man. You're not hurting Alfred any more than you already have. Ah, oh, shit. Vicky, stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? We want the same things. We are nothing alike, Vicky. I fight to save lives. You're a cold-blooded killer. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than Swap? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, leaving other men to carry his burdens. You aren't my enemy, Batman. Curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? Batman is who I am. Who I need to be. To do what must be done. If that's what you believe, you're lying to yourself. You wear the mask so that you can't be held accountable. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Alright, bitch, fine. with your shit, Vicky. Why is this underneath Arkham Asylum? Oh. Hold on, Alfred. You, you, you came, you came for me. Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man, the man I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar, Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. 
It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. If that's what it will take to save him. No! No, Bruce. This must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he... He'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. Stop blaming other people for your problems. You aren't the only one that suffers. You really think you can preach to me? You? Of all people? Enough! <laughs> Alright, bitch, this ends now. I've had it with you. Yeah, you wish. Nice try. But try harder next time. Because unfortunately, I know you're not going to die. Because Batman villains never die. It's really a shame she actually looks cute with that hair. Not everybody can pull off short hair, but she she can. It's just too bad she's a fucking psycho. Bitch, I'm I'm done. I'm done with you. Okay, come on, Bruce. Let's open up a can of whoop ass here. Her and this fucking scepter, I swear. Or staff, or whatever. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Break her neck. She can still live, she'll just be Stop paralyzed. Me. It's over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge. Oh, for the love of God. Bitch, you're annoying. <laughs> you're annoying as hell. And you suck at fighting. Jesus Christ. This is a very intense, uh... scene here. Oh, oh, oh no, oh. They were hiding the buttons from me. That was bullshit. Oh. Okay, that looks painful. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. True, but not for the reasons you think. Oh. Okay, that's that's not what I meant to do. I was trying to have a little monologue about how Bruce is kind of 
fruity, and that's probably why the bloodline will end. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, I have to do all of this? Oh. Try this. Try this again. That was pretty badass, I can't lie. after all that. God damn. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's Reign of Terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it... It's better that they don't. Any word from Miss Kyle? And I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that. After everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon... Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped, and those we lost. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, 
and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Thank you, Alfred. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well... Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Well, I feel like this is final decision time. Perhaps one is truly the mask. So I think we're gonna go as Bruce. One is who you truly believe you are. Let Gordon know Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. I think that's a good choice. Hopefully help fix his reputation some more. I mean, since people think the Batman stopped Children of Arkham, they don't think Bruce did, so hopefully this will help. That smoke, though, why so intense? Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving? What'd you use, a chainsaw? Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get you a call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor... I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that... I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Well, before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. Gotham doesn't have to like me, but I do hope they'll hear me out. I appreciate that. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention, <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression on people. Well, too bad he's not here. Wouldn't mind meeting him. Yeah? <laughs> well, he's not much of a talker. I ready for you, Commissioner. You know, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses, and some of those losses came at the hands of my own father, or at least as a result of his actions. I would like to take this opportunity to apologize. To tell you how sorry I am for the pain the Wayne family has caused this community. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. 
I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, I am ceasing construction on the Wayne Mental Health Facility. Instead, I'll be devoting all my resources to improving the existing Arkham Asylum. It will be the most advanced mental health treatment facility in the country, in keeping with the vision of its founders. What the hell? Clear the area! Get that bastard to lock up! Okay. A new day in Gotham. New trophy. That was... something. I am Batman. Oh. Oh, was that it? Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. See you soon, Brucey. <laughs> well, I guess we have our plot for the enemy within right there, don't we? Jesus. Okay. So, most people pocketed Harvey's coin. Barely. Uh, most people comforted Alfred that he wasn't to blame, of course. So, 27% told Alfred it didn't matter who was at fault. All that matters is fixing the problem. Uh, 2.3 blamed Alfred. Wow. What the fuck? It's kind of fucked up. How'd you respond to Selena? Yeah. I told her she was nothing more than a thief because it's true. And 91% of players are stupid. <laughs> Whatever. We will never agree on that. Okay, most people removed the cowl. Cool. And most people attended as Bruce. Interesting. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm happy to be in the minority with Selena. Fuck her. Alright, let's get my season overview. So, oh. Oh, it was mainly brutal. Gotham saw a man that was uncompr uncompromising, forceful, and unafraid to employ extreme violence to effectively achieve his ends. I really didn't feel like I was that violent. I mean, I, I feel like I chose the, the nicer options most of the time. Okay, may, maybe not. That's just what I took from it. All right. Well, on that note, I guess we're going to go ahead and end this uh, episode and this playthrough here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time.